Hey, what's up, guys? And in this video, we're going to talk about a new side event, the Mutant Treasure Island, and basically how many rewards you can get. So, so far, I've already gotten three keys, and we have 32 days left, which, if I had to guess, means we get 35 keys, or maybe we get 34. Wait, so if it ends in 20 hours, yeah, so maybe it's 34 keys in total. 34, 35. Somewhere around there. Um, so I looked at what I want, and this is just for me. I'm gonna tell you what I can get from my 35 keys. I did the math of 35 keys. If I can only get 34, then I can take away a tiny bit from Master, because I'm gonna be doing 16 from Legendary, 16 from Epic, and two or three runs from Master. And you'd think, why don't you just do all legendary? Well, for me, I just care about shards right now and a few other things, which I'll show you soon. So for legendary, I did all the math, or did all the rewards. Let me just make this a little bit better. Get my best character in the game. Alright. He's going to be carrying the team. Basically, this quest, it gives you a hint of who to duel or who to fight. And you fight those characters, and you get a key, and you can pick between epic, master, and... Um, um, legendary. So, so it just shows you all the paths and how many keys it needs. So some of them take two, some of them take just one. And you'd be you'd think the better ones are in the second key, but some of them aren't. So, for me, my concern right now is gold, five and six star shards, and tier four CC and tier five CC, because tier four CC for me because now that I'm in a top thirty alliance. I don't get a lot of them from AQ anymore, so harder to get. So for me, this path has 1,600 shards, but I already did it. And then I'm going to be taking this path with two keys. Then I'm be getting the gold here. Then I'm going to do this path, which I already did, which is um, I think this was 1,600 shards and then 7,500 five star shards. Then I'm going to take this path for the two of these. Then I'm going to take this path for the 1,000. Then I'll take this path, which has three tier five. Um, 2% crystals. I don't care about six stones at all. Don't care about tier 4 basic. I can get this super easily. Don't care about tier 5 basic also either because those are an overflow. I'm going to get this or so another 7,500, another 1,006 star shards. I'm going to get the 1,006 star shards here. I already went through this path which had a 5 star um, awakening drum on it and I got tech from it which I gave to my five star ghost and she's at rank four so now i can rank five ghost which i already did actually i just didn't have it leveled her up she's rank five level one and um now i'll have a six star rank two and five star maxed out awakened ghost which is fun then i'm gonna be taking another six hundred thousand gold because gold is op then i'm gonna be getting this another two percent tier five cc crystal don't care about six stones get these two then I'm going to be getting this tier 5 crystal again. And basically all the tier 4 and, and 6 stones I don't care about. So if it's tier 5 basic, um, tier 4, or, or 2 tier alpha also I don't care about at all. I've been in overflow for those for a while. If it's tier 4 basic, tier 5 basic, 6 stones, or tier 2 alpha, I really don't care about them. So I'm going to be getting everything else. I added up everything you can get from just 16 keys in legendary. You could, oh, sorry, my water bottle is in front of my mic, so hopefully my mic wasn't shit. But, from 16 keys for Legendary, you will be able to get 4,000 6-star shards, 15,000 5-star shards, 6 tier 4 CC crystals, um, 1.2 million gold, 5 tier 5 CC 2% crystals, and a 5-star Awakening gem. All of that, just from 16 keys, and out of the 34, 35 keys you're going to be getting. So... I value the stuff in epic difficulty, some of the shards there, more than tier 2 alpha and tier 5 basic. So I'm not going to be doing all the paths in epic. I'm going to do 16 in legendary, 16 in epic, and master, like the last two or three keys. Because um, for me, if I split it up, I'm going to get way better rewards, and which you'll see. So in the epic difficulty, what I'm focusing on is 6 star shards, 5 star shards, gold, anything that's gold I'm getting. Um, I have 4 million gold, but gold can go very quickly. <laughs> um, getting the platinum pool thing, getting the 5 star awakening gem, and the 5 star featured. So for this, another 16 keys, 
want to be getting the 756 star shards the gold more gold more gold uh 2500 five star shards don't care about t1 alpha do not care about these these crystals are terrible these are terrible value these crystals are all two percent and it'll take you about 30 years to get one um getting this path the beautiful mouth of the fabulous one that'll give me my third piece for platinum pool i think these eight crystals these give gold uh i mean not gold units so you can get more pieces of platinum pool and maybe if you're super lucky form him or you could just get a good stack of units so that's a good value going down this path getting 750 and the 2500 five star shards um going down this path which is gold going down this path which is another second five star wigging gem so that's super good value then getting another 2500 five star shards there's also a five star featured crystal which i'm getting which has black widow deadly origin which would be a really cool pool captain america infinity war give me max sig crystal cyclops blue team trash doc ock um could awaken my doc ock first time doctor voodoo i already don't need and my frost could be a cool pull but i wouldn't rank her up glenn pull would be a cool pull heimdall wouldn't need a hulk ragnarok wouldn't need hyperion i already have iceman first time awakening korg don't need medusa i already have red guardian would be a cool pull Sorcerer Supreme would be decent, but I don't think I'd use her. Star Lord, Storm Period X, Terax, Hood, Tiger, Ultron, Wasp, Winter Soldier, and Yondu are all pretty much trash to me. So, yeah. And then we go down here, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's nothing else after that. So, there's another 16 keys on Epic. So, for the Epic difficulty, I'll be getting 1,500 six star shards, 7,500 five star shards, 800,000 gold. The platinum pool head and the six um what are these things called six fabulous crystals um and a, a five star awakening gem down here and the five star featured over here so that's another 16 keys which is really good and then my last two three keys i'll have left over i'll throw into master i think and i'm always thirsty in iso since i don't spend money on cavalier crystals iso for me is very tragic so if we have three keys left, I'm going to take this 1,000 four-star shards. Um, where is it? Where is it? Um, this 2,000 and a 500 and this 1,000. So those are three keys. That'll be 4,000 four-star shards, so two crystals. Or in the way I look at it, 48 blocks of ISO. And then also just a 500 five-star shard bonus. If we can't get 35 we're gonna get 34 um i'll definitely take this one because it has the biggest chunk of four star shards and then maybe if i can take one more i'll probably just take one of the 1000s honestly so i'll get 3000 1000 less but just more iso because i desperately need iso so that is the total for me i will be doing 16 of these 16 of these and then three or two of the master let me look at Heroic. I haven't even looked at Heroic to see if there's any value in this. Um, I'm going to assume no. Uh, if you're doing this, I would not do Heroic FRU already. Oh, yeah. This is absolute dog shit. Do not do. Do not. I've seen nothing of value. There is literally nothing of value here so far. Maybe if you're a super new player and you can't even do Master, do this and get the Ultimate Crystal. 1,000 4 star shards is actually pretty good for a new player. Um, another 1,000 shards is actually pretty good also. Um, but other than that, there's pretty much nothing good. The two 1,000 four-star shards are the best things in the crystal. So yeah, just don't go there. So for me, out of the 34 or 35, um, what's it called? 34 or 35 um, keys, I will be getting 5,500 six-star shards. So almost more than a half of a six, or so yeah, not almost, more than half of a six-star uh, six crystal. 23,000 five star shards so a little bit over two um six tier four cc crystals which are very helpful two million gold which is very sexy uh five tier five cc two percent crystals two five star awakening gems beautiful one five star featured crystal which is also very nice the platinum pool face and six fabulous um platinum pool crystal things and then about 4,000 4 star shards, 3,000 to 4,000 4 star shards. So, for me, this month is insane. Um, you get just like the big wins. You're getting 
5k six star shards, about 20,000 five star, 2 million gold, 10% of a tier 5 CC, two five star awakening gems, a five star featured, another piece of platinum pool, a lot more units from these crystals, and some more ISO from the four star shards. So for me, that is a super big win, especially since, as you can see in a second, I'm saving up all my five star and six star shards for a massive opening for my birthday, which is in like two and a bit months. So I need as much shards as I can get, and I love shards just in general because they are very sexy, and I love ISO. So very fun indeed, cannot lie. This is a very good event. We're gonna be getting a shit ton of units, another piece of platinum pool, two five star awakening gems, which are very helpful. I um got the first five star awakening gem today, and I got tech, so I put it into ghost and took it to rank five, level one, and now. I officially have a 6 star, rank 2, and soon to be maxed out 5 star ghost, both awakened, which is for like running quests, running double ghost with full synergies. Oh, that's going to be fun indeed, boys. Um, so yeah, um, tell me what you guys think about this event. I think this is a fucking sick event. For me, the 5 star 6 stones. Especially for anyone who's doing legendary, most people that are doing legendary difficulty, um, for this means you're cavalier and you've been cavalier for a while probably, um, or maybe not. Maybe you just got cavalier. Some people, a lot of people, have been cavalier for a long ass time. Um, for us, the big focus is, as you can see, getting six star rank threes and helping your prestige. So ten, uh, five star six star crystals, which will give you one to two of each class. Just not worth it for me. Not worth it at all. So, yeah. And tier 2 alpha also. If you want to look. I, I If you need tier 2 alpha, you can go for it. You don't have to follow what I did. Do whatever benefits your account. But for me, I'm in a constant state of tier 2 alpha and overflow. No matter how many characters I rank up. So, I don't need any more tier 2, um, two alpha. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you think this event's sick or not. Um, I think it is. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.